Let's tackle a big question that's on a lot of people's minds these days. Why does digital money, like Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, have any value at all? It's not something you can touch or put in your pocket like cash or coins. You can't hold it in your hand. It's not backed by a government or a physical asset, and it doesn't pay you interest or dividends. So why do people exchange real money for it, sometimes even paying thousands of dollars for a single coin? The answer is actually simpler than you might expect. Value comes from collective belief and trust. It's about what people together decide something is worth. Think about a $100 bill. It's just paper and ink, but it's valuable because we all agree to treat it that way. In the same way, cryptocurrencies rely on a shared trust in their worth, even though they exist only in digital form. Millions of people around the world invest in crypto, not just for fun or speculation, but because they see unique features that traditional money doesn't have. These include things like built-in scarcity, advanced security through cryptography, and the power of new, decentralized technology. Understanding why people believe in digital money and what makes them trust it is the key to understanding where its value comes from. It's a mix of psychology, technology, and economics. So, let's break down the main factors that give cryptocurrency its worth, and see how this new form of money is changing the way we think about value. To understand where value comes from, let's start with the money we use every day. Fiat currency, like the US dollar, when you hand over cash at a store, you're participating in a system built on trust and shared belief. Fiat money has value because governments declare it legal tender, and we trust those governments to back it up. This trust is reinforced by institutions like central banks and the laws that support them. Gold, on the other hand, has been valuable for thousands of years. Its worth comes from its rarity, its durability, and the fact that people everywhere recognize and accept it. Gold doesn't rely on any government or institution. Throughout history gold has been used as money in a store of value, surviving wars, economic crises, and changing empires. Cryptocurrency is a hybrid, it's not physical like gold or paper money, and it isn't controlled by any government or central authority. Instead, it exists entirely in the digital world. Its value comes from computer code, built-in scarcity, and the collective belief of its users. The rules are set in software, and anyone can verify them. Instead of trusting banks or politicians, crypto asks you to trust technology, math, cryptography, and open networks that anyone can inspect. For many people, especially those who have lost faith in traditional institutions, this new model of trust is more appealing and empowering. It's a new kind of trust, built on transparency, open source code, and a global network of participants. That's the foundation of digital value, a system where belief, technology, and transparency come together to create something entirely new. Value in any market, whether it's for goods, services, or even digital assets, is fundamentally driven by the forces of supply and demand. When something is scarce and people want it, its price tends to go up. This basic principle applies to everything from oil to artwork. And now, to digital currencies. Bitcoin is often called digital gold because, like gold, its supply is strictly limited. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins in existence, no more can ever be created no matter how much demand grows. Unlike traditional currencies such as the US dollar, which governments can print in unlimited quantities, Bitcoin's scarcity is enforced by its code. This hard cap is what sets it apart from fiat money which can lose value if too much is printed. As more people and institutions become interested in owning Bitcoin, but the supply remains fixed, the price naturally rises. This is a direct result of increasing demand meeting a limited supply. Demand comes from individuals, companies, and even governments who see Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation, a store of value, or simply as a new kind of investment opportunity. Many other cryptocurrencies, like Ethereum and Litecoin, also limit their supply, though they use different mechanisms to do so. This digital scarcity is a key feature of the entire crypto ecosystem. Creating true scarcity in the digital world is a breakthrough. Normally, digital files can be copied endlessly, but blockchain technology makes it possible to have something truly rare online. This rarity, combined with ever-increasing demand, is a core reason why cryptocurrencies can become so valuable, sometimes even rivaling traditional assets. 
It's simple economics at work, but with a digital twist that's changing how we think about money and value in the 21st century. That's why digital money like Bitcoin is now seen as a serious rival to gold, and why understanding supply and demand is more important than ever in the digital age. Lasting value comes from utility, being useful. Cryptocurrencies started as digital money, but now they're technology platforms. Ethereum, for example, lets developers build decentralized apps, dApps, for finance, art, gaming, and more. To use these apps, you need the network's native currency, like Ether. As more useful apps are built, more people need the currency, driving demand. This links real-world utility to crypto's value. Investing in crypto is often a bet on the future of decentralized technology, not just price speculation. The more useful the network, the more valuable its currency. Utility gives crypto a reason to exist beyond hype. It's like owning a piece of the next internet. Beyond scarcity and utility, trust and community are crucial for crypto's value. Money is a shared belief system. Crypto builds that belief through transparency and passionate communities. The network effect means the more people use a cryptocurrency, the more valuable it becomes. Every new user, developer, or merchant strengthens the network. This creates a feedback loop. Growth attracts attention, which brings more users, boosting value. Community drives adoption, security, and social acceptance. Without a strong, engaged community, a cryptocurrency fades away. Shared belief is the digital backbone of value. Crypto's community is its lifeblood. So, what gives cryptocurrency value? It's a mix of scarcity, utility, and community belief. Scarcity, like gold, means limited supply and rising demand can push prices up. Utility, like a tech platform, ties value to real-world use and innovation. Community and network effects turn code into a global asset, reinforcing belief and adoption. The price is set by the market, a tug-of-war between believers and skeptics. Crypto is still young and volatile, but these principles explain its staying power. Whether it's the future of money or a passing trend, understanding these basics lets you see past the hype. That's the real story behind digital money's value.